So I started focusing on wrestling in college. High school, my dream was to get a scholarship and play college football. Uh, that didn't pan out, and my opportunity to, to compete in Division One sports was through wrestling, and that came here at Cal State Bakersfield. I learned about CSUB through one of the assistant coach's dads. He lived down in San Diego, and he always was, was talking about Bakersfield. We drove up for a dual meet right here on the, in this building against Fresno State, and two kids just stepped up, and they beat up the Fresno State guys, and they won the dual meet, and it just it put Bakersfield on the map for me, and it was a pretty, pretty cool moment. We had been following him throughout his season, um, through, through the year, the qualifying meets, and, the, and then finally the California State High School Championships. And so that was actually the first time that I saw Steve Russell, and we watched him compete. He made it to the semifinals, and he had a match against a kid named Casey Strand, who was a blue chip uh, college recruit. In the whole tournament, everybody that wrestled Casey Strand, you could tell the fear was in their eyes, this guy is one of the best in the country, and they weren't themselves. Steve gave him no respect. He came after him the whole time. He was outmatched, he lost, and walking off the mat, I'm watching Steve, and you could tell he didn't like losing. He hated losing. And we're thinking, here's this kid, started wrestling his freshman year in high school. As a senior, he's fourth in the state of California. That's pretty good. And so those are things you look for in recruits, and that's when we knew right then that, that uh, he was somebody we wanted on our team. My probably proudest moment and most awesome memories happened in 1996. Uh, for the first one happened in this gym. We were uh, under the threat of our program getting eliminated, and Coach Kerr said, just go out there and compete from the home crowd. Both bleachers were pulled out, it was packed. It was, it was a pretty cool moment. Uh, and then a couple weeks later, we went to the NCAAs. We took nine guys out of 10. Each and every one scored a point, and we ended up taking third in the country. The experience I had here at Cal State Bakersfield definitely prepared me for the NFL because um, from day one to the last day I was here, Coach Kerr worked the crap out of us and, and Coach Pope had us lifting and we worked really hard. So when I got to, to football, you know, the guys are complaining, oh man, this is so tough. And it's like, this is nothing. This is, this is, this is like a walk in the park compared to what I've been doing the last six years. Steve supports Cal State University of Bakersfield wrestling because he believes in the opportunities that this program provides for student athletes. He wants to see other individuals receive that same opportunity. And so he continues to give of his time and his resources and of his connections to make sure this program stays here and continues to provide those opportunities. I enjoy giving back to Cal State because it's given me so much. The friendships I've made, the lessons I've learned, um, the people I've seen, their lives have changed as well. So there's a lot of people that wouldn't have gone to college if it wasn't for the wrestling program. So I see the value that it's given me and other people in, in the community in general. And so I, I want to support that. And I really want to uh, encourage others to support that too. Maybe you didn't come here to Cal State, but you're a business owner and you've hired some people that went to Cal State and you see their work ethic, you see all the stuff that they, that they can do to help you. And I'd, I'd encourage you to, to give back to the, this, this school, to whatever program that you, you see has a value and uh, really uh, help others have that opportunity that, uh, that I had and others have, have had as well.